Welcome back everyone to the ASX Portfolio channel and today we're going to be talking about the value at risk and the conditional value at risk uh, in a Monte Carlo simulation. So if you haven't watched our Monte Carlo um, simulation for a portfolio video, I'm going to put the links in the description. We're going to be following on from that video um, and then implementing our value at risk functions and our conditional value at risk function. Um, so please go ahead, um, watch that video, write the code or find the code on our website and follow on from there. So where we left off, we have our portfolio of simulations going out in time at the moment to 100 days. And at that point in time, we want to define a function that tells us to what level of certainty um, to, a, to a percentile of this distribution what the value at risk is and then past that defined confidence interval we want to know what the expected shortfall is or the conditional value at risk so past you know in the five percent worst cases what is my expected loss value so let's just jump straight in so following on we'll comment out that plot show now so jumping in, we're going to define a function MC var, and that function is going to take a return series, and it's also going to take um, an alpha, which we're going to call, which we're just going to default as five, the fifth percentile. So let's define what this function actually does. So the input to the function is taking a pandas series of returns at that 100 day level and the output is giving back a percentile on returns distribution to a given confidence level alpha. Cool. So now we're going to check if this function actually is an instance of a pandas series. If not, we're going to return an error. So if is instance we'll use and we'll say returns and use PD series. PD dot series. Then we're gonna do something useful, return something. Um, else essentially we will raise a type error and we will say expected a pandas data series yeah cool now that's something that we're going to return is the percentile and we're going to use numpy's um, module so I've imported that at the top as NP so NP dot percentile we want to return the percentile of that distribution returns which is just an array of our returns at that at a given time interval and we want to say what that alpha is. So we're going to define that percentile as alpha. Excellent. So that should be it for our MC var function. Let's copy this across for conditional value at risk. So as we've just said, the conditional value at risk, MC C var, is the expected shortfall once you pass that percentile um, that you're interested in. So to a certain confidence interval, what is our expected shortfall um, below um, that percentile? So essentially it's the mean past that point. So the import, the import is gonna be the same, the Panda series returns, the output is gonna be a no longer a percentile, it will be the CVAR or expected shortfall um, to a given confidence level. So um, we're going to test the same things. We're going to use is instance uh, returns PD series. So we're going to define a variable called below var. And what we're interested in is actually just getting a subsection of those return series that is below that value of risk, that limit that we've defined. And essentially that's just a percentile at the distribution of returns. So all we need to do is go below var, which is gonna be our limit. We have our returns series, 
And we're going to subsection that data by going using this operator, less than or equal to. And we're going to actually use the function we've already created, mcvar, to return what that limit is to that certain alpha. And we have to make alpha equal to alpha because we're interested in the conditional value at risk alpha, which may not necessarily be the same as the value at risk that you're interested in here in that confidence interval. So alpha equals alpha. So now that we have below var, we can use that to subsection the returns data and get the mean. So returns function again, use the subset below var, and we're going to return the mean. So conditional value at risk, we want to find out what the expected shortfall is below a certain percentile or below a certain var. So we've got the same raised type error. Excellent, let's implement these. So remember above, we had this simulation and we were storing results in portfolio sims. And we had previously plotted all of them out in time. What we really want to do is it's indexed by time and sims. We want to return all the simulations at the very last time step. So what we're going to do is define something um, called portfolio results or yeah, portfolio results. And we're going to take this all that data and we're going to take the very last element in the time step. So we're interested in time 100 or whatever we've defined up top. So once we've defined that time series, we're going to make sure that it is a PD series. So now that we have port results, um, what we want to do is calculate our value at risk and our conditional value at risk for the scenario we have. So we will go var is equal to MC Monte Carlo var for our results, port, res port results, and uh, we're happy with the alpha, um, fifth percentile at the moment. And look, we will do the same right now, copy and paste for conditional value at risk. So this will be, because we've defined this um, as the actual portfolio value, from the portfolio value, we need to take away the initial value from this estimate. So we're gonna grab the initial portfolio value and define the VAR from the mean and the conditional value at risk as a loss measure from the mean. Um, whereas if you've watched the other value at risk and conditional value at risk um, tutorials, we actually did them on percentage change. So we actually had to apply the initial portfolio value after the fact um, when using these loss values. So if we now print our results, value at risk in dollar terms, dot format, and we might round that function var to two decimal places, and we'll copy, copy and paste that for conditional value at risk. So Python MC run, and we should just find that they print here. So we've got our var, which is our limit, and then the conditional value at risk, the expected um, shortfall, to that percentile that we've defined. If I just uncomment plot show for a second, we might be able to put these numbers into context. So when the pop-up comes. So if you picture our $10,000 level here, you can see that the fifth percentile will probably be around here. So we, what we're saying is that the five percent of at the fifth percentile of this distribution at the end here, we're expecting a loss of eight hundred and fifty dollars at the hundredth day. And past that point, in these worst cases of the fifth percentile down the bottom here, we expect to lose about fourteen hundred dollars. And that's in the time horizon that we've defined. 
We could slice this. I have chosen to slice it at the, at the very end, but you could choose to slice it at any point in your distribution to aggregate these numbers. Um, so thank you very much for uh, listening. I hope you learned a lot. And if you really like the video, um, hit the like button, please, and subscribe to the channel for next time. Catch you later.